Hello, and thank you for joining me for Let's Meet Up. This is an introduction on how to use Meet Up. So, have you ever had this happen to you? Someone suggests that everyone meets up, and then you get questions like where, when, and who else should come? Well, with Meet Up, everyone can actually join the group to find out when you will meet up. You can also invite people to join a group and host little special events. So some of you may be wondering, what is meetup? Meetups are neighbors getting together to learn something, do something, or share something. Meetup is a group that is local in the community and it also involves people. A meetup group host meetups, which are face-to-face -face meetings that happen in real life between members or organizers. So let's take a look at what meetup is all about and how to set up an account. So the first thing that I wanted to do is actually review a group that is already mentioned on meetup. And this is a sewing circle. So notice that you see who are the beginner sewers, who are self-taught, who are trained, and who are professional sewers in the group. Then you can also see where there's a map where each of the sewers are located. Then you can also host polls, which you may ask a person if they're willing to set up a fee to meet up, and this fee could help um, you guys meet up in different conference areas or hold different outings without any cost to the person. Also, Meetup can also give you resources on how to do new different ideals or projects. So also, now we're going to go ahead and visit their actual page on Meetup. And they're called the Bay Area Sewists. Notice that they have a home page, then they have their members, their sponsors, then they have photos, discussions, and more. So let's scroll down a little bit on their page. Notice that you can see how many members are in the group, when the group was founded, the group reviews. You can also see the upcoming meetings. You can also view some of the past meetings and they also have a calendar. Notice that they also have a join button. And then you can also check their page to see who else you know that is in your group. So. Let's go to www.meetup.com backslash find backslash. So once you enter that web address into your browser, the next page that's going to display will actually be the sign on page for Meetup. Now notice once you um, put in the web address, your current city is going to automatically show right there. So let's go ahead and sign up for a new account because we have we don't have an account with Meetup. So once we click on the sign up link, the next page is going to display will actually ask us what do we want to sign up with. So we're going to choose to sign up with an email address because everyone may not have a Facebook page, so we're just going to do the easiest way and we're just going to sign up with the email. So once we click on sign up with email, notice that a drop down box appears and they're asking for our name, our email address, and then we're going to pick a password that we want to use with the meetup account. Once we've entered our name, the email address, and a password, we're going to go ahead and click on the sign up button. As soon as we click on the sign up button, they're going to ask a little bit more about us. So we're going to enter our age, then you're going to enter the sex, and then you want to enter your zip code. Once this information is filled out, you're going to click on next and the next thing that's going to happen is you're going to be brought into a, a blank page and you're going to have to go check your email now to actually verify that you are the person that is signing up for the meetup account. So this is what you're looking at right now on this screen. This is the actual verify account information that I was sent for meetup. And notice that there's a link. This link is going to be different for everyone that is signing up for their own account. 
So once you have your link sent to your email address, you need to go ahead and follow the directions and click on that link. By clicking on that link, you're going to be taken to your home page and notice that my name appears at the top here, Shamika Amore. So this is my actual meetup account. So notice that I have a couple of ways of um, starting a meetup account. I can actually find a group or I can actually start my own group. But today, since we are just learning all about Meetup, what I want everyone to do is just find a couple of groups that interest them. And I want you guys to join at least three groups and um, tell me why you join those three groups. So let me show you guys how to look up groups that are in your interest area. Notice that you have a suggested Meetup drop down box. And once I click on that drop down box, notice that all of the themes come up in a little search box here. You have your arts and cultures, community and environments, fashion and beauty, just to name a few. Also notice on the left hand side here, you have a search box. And this is gonna allow you to type in any um, theme that you would like to look up to see if there are groups that you would like to join with that theme that you enter into the search box. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter education. By entering education, these are some of the groups that came up. Notice that I have the real, real world education, K through 12 STEM summer camps and after school programs. I also have um, penny saving divas. And then I also have one that I highlighted here, the Metro Atlanta 20s and 30s. So I wanna um, find out about this group. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this group by clicking on the name of the group. As soon as I click on the name of the group, the next page is gonna display will be the Metro Atlanta's 20 and 30s group page. Notice that they have a home page, a members page, a sponsors page, photos, discussions, and more. I will be able to actually view each of these page, pages to see if I want to become a member of this group. So once I view each of those pages, um, I can actually join the group by just simply clicking on join us. So now that I've actually shown you how to open up an account with Meetup and actually search for a group in your interest, I want you guys to join three groups and I want you to email a summary of each group that you join and I also want a detailed um, description on why you join those groups. After you've written up your, um, your experience on using Meetup, I want you to email it to me at sgumes at gmail.com and you guys have till May 31st, 2013. I will tell everyone to join Meetup is very easy. You have to make sure you do have an email address. And once you join Meetup, just find groups that actually interest you. So whatever interests you, it may not be education, but anything like cars from dolls, enter that into the search box and see what groups come up in your area and see if those groups are something that you wanna go ahead and join. Remember that these are groups that are going to be in your area, so you may be able to join up with those groups just to see how you interact with some of the people in the group. So once again, don't forget that you do have homework, and I can't wait to read your guys' experiences with Meetup. Talk to you soon on the next series to Meetup.